what's up guys uh, welcome to this youtube channel uh, in case you are new and you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please check it out and subscribe uh, my name is fellow the boy for the new subscribers who are watching please check it out and uh, uh, subscribe 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 so today is a bright day here oh i'm just checking on my uh, the young growing kelps how they are doing but they're just doing okay i was just checking on them so guys i want to start this i've started this video from my home and uh, i want just to go right now at mabason hardware to go and pick the cement uh, for mama maria construction mama maria plastering kitchen and uh before that guys yesterday in the last video i was at mama maria and uh actually it was uh uh, I had I had gone to go and uh, uh, cash uh, give out uh, uh, what I had sent uh, what I had been sent with my good subscribers. Uh, that's Antiomo and uh, Karen Douglas Foundation for the work that we are supposed to start uh, uh, probably today. But when I came back, guys, bad news, bad news, man. It started raining and it was at night. You know, I had to just to come with that rain. You know. I had to do this because of the one reason. We have got a river. We have got uh, one of the river called uh, Gatuntu. And once you mess it up, it found you are, uh, you are away. It comes full and you will not be able to pass. So I had to, I had just to come in that rain. I was being rained on from Mama Maria place. 10 kilometers being rained on up to Nyabuhansi. And immediately when I reached to that river, I found it was now almost coming to be full. So as we are speaking guys i want to just uh you can just check let me just show you some of the 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 result yeah the result you see these are my clothes you see this one is my trouser it is very wet seriously wet i want to put them outside right now so that they can at least uh, uh get some maybe they can get some some sun this is my the one that i had it is very 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 wet very wet guys then we have got uh this one this is how i was this is the clothes that i was having so let me just put them uh, at least here i don't know which one oh maybe i can put in the one this uncle line because as we are speaking even right now my phones are no more my phone and no more guys that's big keep on praying for me i didn't know that all of this will happen because uh it rained a lot so i have to put this one here <sighs> so that it can at least get the sun you see it has got even water guys check a lot of water again <sighs> it was a lot of rain with the thunderstorms i was talking about thunderstorms in a certain video but it came to happen now yesterday i experienced them but i, I know I, I remember when i was coming from Mama maria i told her that uh, pray for me so that i reach where i'm going that's what i said to her So let them be there at least they can dry now so this one this one is still okay maybe i can just try to wash it so that we can remove this mud eh? yeah but i will have to do it later yeah so guys thank you uh i want to go to mabason even my motorbike just was uh i came while it was raining i just parked it outside so this phone uh, this is my phone this is my phone i want i want to go and see whether they can be able to fix it because i was trying to even open it yesterday but uh, i found that uh, this phone you can't open it doesn't have any nuts this one is an inbuilt battery so i'm supposed to take it to the to the guy who's supposed to fix it at his banner there to see whether it can work my phone this one it just went off immediately. 
I, I came to realize that, uh, uh, you know, they were in my bag, in this bag. You see this bag? This one. Only to realize that uh, uh, the bag was having a lot of water inside when I reached home. I was shocked. And the first thing I took action with it, it was my phone. And uh, it, it, okay, it, 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 it was okay by that time. Then uh, when I used it, I used it, it started now changing the color of the screen. Then it just went off immediately. So let me see. So I'm just going by, uh, to go to go to 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 check whether they can be able to fix it. And uh, but this one is okay. This one, uh, this one, I was luck. And uh, by good luck is that this one is the one that normally uploads the video. This one is uh, this one is a uh, Techno Spark 10 Pro. Spark 10 Pro. This one uh, uh, was not affected. It is just okay. Even if you see, it is just working. You see. It is just working. It doesn't have any problem. So I think what I will do, uh, I'll just uh, rush to Mabason Hardware. I go and pick the cement. I go and pick the cement. After picking the cement, I will head to Kangariso now. At Mama Maria, because the work should supposed to start today ay, ay, ay. so this one i have made a mistake they're not supposed to come outside these slippers so i made a mistake and uh, stepped outside with them so maybe i can do this this way just this way yeah so that they can just be clean and put them inside the house so we are supposed to go at mabason to pick cement uh, oh, I'm supposed to go with my my bag. I don't know. I was I know this bag it is still wet, so I will not go with it. I will just, uh, I want just to, I want it to remain here, at least to get sun, and I will go with it later, yeah, at least it can dry a bit, so this one I have to close, we don't have also electricity, I don't know what's the problem, our main line has got a, our line has got a, our line has got a problem, So we don't have power. Okay. So I only have this one one. So this one is wet, but I can just put it on. I only have one of it. It will just dry on the way as I go. I'm supposed to buy a, another one like this one. So let's go guys. Yeah, guys, so you can check on our roads. Just on the way heading to Mabason Hardware. But I've just used this road that um uh, I haven't used the main road. This road is the one that uh, I have rotated from my parents' side. Yeah? So you can check the situation. The road is not good anymore. Just pass this way. Escaping mad, the one that I'm coming to use also is very worse. Look at this guy. Even yesterday we were just falling down and waking up. Falling down and waking up because the, it was slippery. The road was really, really, really slippery. 
so I'm heading to Mabason. I have to rush because of time. Yeah, okay guys, so I've already reached here and I want just to uh, park this bike, motorbike, here, before I start uh, loading the cement. Yeah, so I need to... Mabason hardware guys there is one of the signboard here is uh, for the government of Kenya but the returns have been fed, have been fed they are fed you can't see them the guy is trying to do some cleaners here they know Niaji Vipi Niko Sambam Eh Wo Vipi Samendiko Yo so guys, I need to pick here the cement. Uh, actually, I'm supposed to pick the six bags of cement from here according to the budget, how we had uh, budgeted me and you. But I cannot be able to carry three of the six of them. I'm just going to take uh, uh, three of them. I'm going to take three of them on my motorbike. So there is a tip tip there. It's almost to... I thought that it want to... In <laughs> to damage my motorbike because you can see where my motorbike is so it will be i don't know whether they have got some sack because i want to, when i carry it they cannot be able to affect me at the, my back you know they have got a lot of dust they have got a lot of dust so this one is the storage room the storage room of the construction materials huh? yeah so this one is a simba cement Okay, actually we normally have different kinds uh, of cement. So we normally have different kinds of cement. So, Deno? So, you want to get a tattoo? Oh, yeah. So, Deno want to, to pack for me three of them. Six, three of them. Then, uh, they are supposed to be six, but I will start with three. So, th then uh, I will come back to pick another one for the easy work. Because, uh, uh, of their road. The roads are slippery so I cannot be able to carry a lot of them. I don't want to get the damage on the way as I will be driving my motorbike. So that's how he's carrying it. And uh, I'll have, oh, I need, we, need, we need a sack. Kuna gani nye na vumbi at least? Oh, So we need to have this. Eh, mora ni So we want to use this one. Reverse bana, reverse utagonga ndudhi. Mulipaka mpaka kidumu rangi. Murahayo. Hii ina insurance. 
Nini yo? Nafai di nafai sifika hapa Nafai uka ya hapa Uzitu ya ni kaya at least uku Na hiyo njia venye kwa hivi rara inatelezi Haimekua mzuri ya kwa hee Haa naenda kengarisu Haa utasikiritia kwenda hapo hivi Tanga angana Haa kama kini ni kita mwenyewe naendeja Yeah, so they are supposed to be three, but this one are supposed to be. Oh, let me know. I don't know if they are okay. Okay, guys. So uh, they have already packed for me the three bags of cement, and uh, I told you they are supposed to be six according to the budget. But I was supposed to come for three. So this is how I have just uh, make sure that I've tightened them very well with the blood, because the road that I'm going to use. It's not a, a good road. They are sleeper right now because of the rain. But we thank God that uh, we have seen this day and uh, we are just okay. So let me go. I will try. I don't know if I will be able to shoot on the way. I can just try to sh show you how the road looks like. Thank you. God bless. You. Let's go. Okay, guys. I've already covered a, covered a quarter of a kilometer. But uh, I've just stood here. Uh, near here at uh, there is a certain hospital here called Mamo and uh, I want just to show you the situation of the roads the situation of the roads you check you can check how they're the, they're slippery they're very slippery so what I'm sub, what, what 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 I'm doing is just to at least make sure that uh, my tire my tire is working on the dry part the dry part and the dry part is where the dry part is here this is the dry part. I've just stood uh, aside a bit so that I can be able to speak. Maybe uh, another motorbike, if it comes, it can just be pa uh, just pass. So this is the situation of the, our roads right now here in uh, in Kenya. Uh, we have got uh, we are experiencing a lot of rain, and this is a road that uh, and this is a road that uh, uh, this guy is working. Uh, asked me whether we have got the work. Uh, this is the road that was constructed some months ago. It was uh, very very nice. But once it rains, it just be this way. So these are the situation that we face. Huh? And uh, I asked one of the border border if they can be able to deliver for me these bags of the cement. They told me that uh, because the roads are very slippery, it will be very expensive. The border bo the border guys that we normally use. Huh? So they normally we normally pay them 100 shillings sometimes per bag up to Kangaroo because Kangaroo is a little bit a uh, little bit uh, very far from uh, Nyabohansi. So uh, today they say that uh, now I can be able to pay 150 per bag. So you can imagine 150 per bag, that is around uh, 900 shillings for six bags. So I cannot pay uh, 900 shillings for six bags and I have got my motorbike. It's better I try my best guys because uh, uh, it's better I take that 900 shillings. Uh, I fuel my motorbike because uh, if I fuel 900 shillings in this motorbike, I'm telling you it will be used for around uh, four, three to four days. Huh? You see the, how this guy is suffering? Actually, he's sliding while he's coming. Niaj? Yeah. 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 So this guy is asking me the work. <laughs> and you know the motorbike is just going like this, guys. I, so I will not even feel him while I will be going. I will just uh, I want just to, to speak this uh, as I go. I was telling you that uh, this motorbike, one I feel I feel well, uh, 900 shillings, it can sustain me for three days. So there is no need of. Uh... Oi! People, people, people are falling down. People are falling down. So I'm not sure if I will go, but let me go. Yeah. That guy has fallen down with Madame. There. Guys, please pray for me. I don't know if I will make it. When I fall down, I'll just wake up. Let us go. Thank you. Okay, 
Okay guys, so I have reached here but uh, there is a problem with my motorbike. We have to uh, change uh, for this guy. My motorbike has got a, a puncher. It has got uh, a puncher so uh, I have decided that uh, we just change it and put to this motorbike that will be able to... This motorbike is the one that will be able to deliver there the cement. So I will have to go back and uh, add here some, uh, they go and check it whether we have got the, it has got a problem or we can just add uh, some pressure there, it will be just okay. So this guy is the one that is delivering. Oh, Fungi. Oh. Kumesimama <laughs> 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 Sasa wewe peleka tutakuja nyabo eh Acha niende wa nini waone labda hata naweza kutana na wewe Ongeza pressure hapa kidogo Aksuk niks kume Ame mtoni bani hapo nyumba Sa So guys is the one who's going with the cement uh, I'm sorry, I will have to go and fix my motorbike first because uh, I had uh, prepared, look at the, my, sh my, my shoes, a lot of mud. I, 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 I feel like maybe yesterday when I was coming, I stepped maybe in one of the, in a, maybe on, how do you call them? Maybe something like a bottle. So I will have to go and fix it first before I go to Kengariso. But <laughs> the journey went wrong. The journey went wrong. Not what I expected, guys. Not what I expected. Beyond my expectation. You see even how the guys were going struggling with the cements. I normally carry them, but the problem now is my tire. You know, I, uh, I've thought like if I just go that way and I'm still like a lot of kilometers to go, I will even damage my rim. I don't want to damage my rim. So let me just put this motorbike very well. So I will go and uh, check on the guy who normally work at Zach Discovery's place. <sighs> yeah, I think this one, it has got a problem. So the children are collecting sand here on the way. You see the arm of them they have got wheelbarrows here and there to make sure that they have assault and collected the sand. You see like this one? This one is a actually this one is a pure sand for plastering. This one is a pure sand for plastering. Is it for plastering or constructing? In your kujenga, see a plaster. This one is for construction. In Yako. What do you make Oh, in up, in up. So they just uh, because this place is somehow lead deep. When it rains, the rain comes with the sun, so they just collect it from here. So this this small boy is trying to collect from the other end, bringing it here so that they can be 
later on they can be able to sell it and get some money okay yeah a lot of mud on my shoes so you can check on the situation of the road let me show this place let me at least show you a little bit of this place how it is i have just uh, uh i have just conducted the guys who are working that they they wait for the cement so you can check you can see how it is yeah so this is the situation now of the road so if you joke around oh okay i could have reached if the my motorbike could be okay i could have reached no problem because this is not the first time driving in in slippery roads they only you normally do just step down with the legs you balance as you go when you reach a good place you just drive and go so there is no any problem with that okay let me now go let me now go back to nyabohansi guys and fix my motorbike okay guys i have already fixed my motorbike and uh, it is now okay but i'm just uh, now heading to kengariso uh, guys this is the river that i was uh, let me let me let me just stand a very very nice place i want to show you something here i want to show you something here and i will have to park aside my motorbike so i wanted to see something here you see this river this river is called uh, river gatuntu and uh, this is the river that i was telling you that yesterday if i could have uh, remained at kengariso and something that uh, forced me uh, to come with, with rain it was uh, this one this uh, this river and uh, for those one who watched uh, the video of this guy who called uh, it's gintu he was showing you one of the wall of marwa's place uh, had collapsed because of water actually that 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 river connects to this one and this one was full up to this place you can see you see here all of this place was full of water and this is a bridge and uh, it just uh, you can you can imagine that level downwards that level you can be able to see that level if the water now comes full up to this level now then you drop inside hey <laughs> I don't know how uh, how we can uh, put it. Now, the water was uh, full up to those those places. Uh, I can be able to show you. Let me go and check. You see, even this place, even to walk, is very difficult. Uh, but uh, I'll just walk here. The water was full. This place, uh, uh, this place was full of water. All of this place. I will also go and show you the other side, so that you can be able to experience what I'm talking about. You see here. This place was full of water. This place was full of water. You see, we have got even some plastics. So that means that uh, when it was full, uh, it was reducting this way and the plastics remain. In fact, I suspect like uh, maybe yesterday, I stepped on one of the bottles when I was coming. That's why my motorbikes got a puncture. So the water was full up to this place. This place. I just passed. Let me now tell you, I just passed here. The water was here full. I just passed that way when, when it was full. So by good luck, uh, something that was uh, helping us is that uh, we could be able to see these metals. So you know when you are seeing these metals, you have hopes that uh, you are still on the road. Huh? So if these metals could not be, the, be here and this one has been covered, then you find that uh, you cannot be able to trace where the road is. So this was the problem that we have. We, we had, I had uh, to rush from Kengariso being rained on. My, my phone got uh, damaged and uh, my camera also, uh, my camera was not damaged. My phone was the one that was damaged and I was rained on. So you can check on this situation. Look at the grasses here. And we have got somebody's maze. On the other side, it just went. That is somebody's maze there. Maybe I can go and show you. Let me just go and uh, uh, show you a little bit. I don't know if I have got taken the... Oh, I have got, I have got the key of the motorbike. So I need just to go and uh, show you something. Before we go to Kengariso, oh, where will I pass now? I don't know if I will get the place to pass. 
I want to I want to show you how the maize were affected uh, with water. This is someone who was expecting to harvest a lot of maize, but uh, all of a sudden he has found that uh, uh, the maize was swept away. So let us walk. I've just decided to use this place because this one is somehow lay hollow down. So I want to show, to show you something here. You can see the force of water. River Gatun. You see even this soil? This soil was cut. It collapsed. The soil here collapsed and went down. Let me go and show you. I can just... Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to be very careful also. You see here? They tried to build some gabions here, at least to prevent uh, this uh, uh, depletion of water, but uh, it is collapsing still because of the force of the water. So you see this place? It has been, uh, it collapsed. It collapsed with water. And you know, before that, the land was reaching here, somewhere here. They had planted corn up to this place, the maize. But right now, it has collapsed. So this is the, that's the river that ends this way. And you can hear the force of the water. Okay, let me go and show you the other side. I go and show you the, how now agriculture people have suffered now. Eh? So I'm supposed to be very careful. So I don't want to pass here because the, the, the soil is collapsing. So you can see somebody's maze the way it is down. So where you are seeing the maize have reached, that's where the water reached. You see when there is one of the tree here, so the water brought this tree there. So we have, a, we, the water was, uh, this place was full of water, all of it. That's why you are seeing to the, to, towards that end, the maize have been affected. They are, all of them, they are down. Huh? Yeah. So they, they try to... They try to construct here some these things, huh? Let me show you. Wait, I was almost lady. You see this one? This one uh, is now uh, preventing soil erosion. You see this one? They are preventing soil erosion, so the soil cannot be affected at this place. Okay, so let us go. That is uh, the river that I was telling you. It was very, 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 very bad yesterday. I was passing here, we had a full of water. By good luck, I didn't come to these places because I could have slided. So you can check on that side. The water is just coming with a force. And we have got one of the refinery here for water. I think this one is for uh, cleaning water and transporting water to the places. Huh? Something that is helping this bridge is the way they constructed it. It is very, very, very unique. They constructed it uh, with uh, heavy materials. Huh? Okay, guys, so let us uh, head to Kengariso. Uh, it was bad luck that our motorbike got a problem, but uh, right now it has been fixed a bit. I can just reach there. So let us start the journey as we go. Wow! Rain, 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 rain. I was seeing some places like Budalangi, Nyatike. We have got a lot of rain, experiencing a lot of rain. But we thank God that... Uh, we thank God uh, for saving people's lives up to this moment. So we are heading to Kengariso now. So 
So the roads are very bad. Look at this place. Not good anymore. You can see some guys, some they are loading sand from the damba there. It's like uh, okay, he said Mambo fellow Ukopoa, I told him yes. Nikopoa <laughs> Mambo is like how are you? So let me teach you right now. Those people who are watching this video uh, and uh, maybe they are trying to learn some Kiswahili. I know that you don't know Kiswahili, you know Kiswahili very well, but some things that we have got, some things that I don't uh, maybe understand them. So if somebody tells you Mambo, you say poor. Uh, then uh, this like, how are you? I'm fine. So look at this road, guys. Look here. You see? You know, no wonder yesterday I was sliding. Even this guy has not reached. Alipata Shidaba. Oh, hey. so the fuel has finished. So this guy, the fuel has finished. The guy who was transporting the cement, he don't have the fuel, so he has uh, asked someone to go and. Uh, bring for him a fuel here sim too so he's trying to communicate whether the guy whom he had uh, sent whether he's coming but this is the situation guys you can check on the roads so i will have to help him at this place guys it is very 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 dangerous when they bring him the fuel Guys, the roads are very bad. You see how he's struggling? I just need some ammunition for this idea. So he has passed. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So now, that, see that one is uh, the old papa is using the bicycle. I remember when I used the bicycle in high school. Sometimes you could find it has rained this way. The roads are slippery and you have to rush to school. And it is early in the morning. Then uh, it has been raining. The teacher tells you that uh, you are late. You need to get punishment. You try to imagine the situation that you are passing in, the struggle that you are struggling to reach where you are going now in school. Then they are telling you that uh, you are late to face the punishment. Oh, I don't complain because I thank God that uh, uh, I passed there. And where I am right now, God was preparing my future. I never knew that God was preparing my future. 
And my goodness was that um, something that I've avoided in my life is about uh, complaining. I don't like complaining anymore. Maybe you have told me to do this and this. Once you tell me, oh, do this punishment, go and wash the toilet. You know, they used to tell me, go and wash the toilet because you are late. And I remember one of the teacher, he's called Mr. Victor. I know he's watch I don't know if he's watching this video, but maybe one day, one time, he will, uh, he will watch this video. Or, uh, somebody will come one day and tell him that I watched on Fellow the Boy's video. He said this and this. So there's one of the teacher was called uh, Victor Nguka. Victor Nguka, he comes from uh, Nyatike. He was a BOM. He, was, uh, he had been employed by the board and uh, he was serving uh, uh, as a mathematician teacher and physics teacher. But this teacher used to abuse me a lot. He used to abuse me. Sometimes he could even tell me that, uh, uh, why are you struggling with the school? Why can't you go home and marry and start staying? You are old enough to be in, to be in, primary, in, to be in secondary school. You are learning with a, uh, with a, uh, how do you call it, with young, young boys, and you are old boy. That one, that time I was in form two, uh, but uh, he tried to pain me somehow, Lee. Although I didn't want to talk anything like, uh, I feel so sad. I was just, uh, just humble. Then I tell him, okay, Malim, okay, teacher, there's no problem. But uh, this is um, something that it came to happen that I didn't had the uh, I didn't had the financial support to learn very early in school, and that's why I delayed to go to school. You know, when you finish class eight, you are supposed to go in form one the following year. But uh, you can't imagine, guys, when I finished class eight because of uh, insufficient but insufficient uh, financial support not even insufficient due to the lack uh, due to the lack of financial support i had to sit home for four years four years without going in high school various women yeah so four years without going in high school i just i was home just looking for the work hustle here and there but people were not even helping me. No one could help me that time. I tried each and uh, all my best to look for the hustle. But by good luck, after four years, I went to Form 1 now. Imagine I went to Form 1 when those people whom I was with in Class 8, they had already now finished Form 4. So this teacher used to uh, tell me that uh, you have the beats. How can you be in Form, in form 2 with beats? I was telling him that I'm a limb. I didn't choose to be this way. I liked that I could have learned very early. I wish to learn early, but uh, I lacked some finance, but he never understood me. This one led me to hate the subject that uh, he was teaching, because uh, I never had that happiness of studying. So I had, uh, uh, I wanted to study math and physics a lot in high school, but uh, he made, he lost me off because sometimes I could have, uh, I could do some assignment, take it to him to help me, tell, ask him, have I did well? All he did was just to clean my heart. But I'm just praying for him wherever he is. Let, her, let his life be better. The only thing that I remember I told him was that uh, I told him, Walim, you may insult me that way or you may call me all kinds of the names right now, but uh, you will wonder that maybe one day, one time, God will bless me and I may maybe employ you. Or I may maybe one day come and be successful man in this world before you, Walim. I was, the only thing I was trying to tell him was that uh, respect me as a student and I respect you as a teacher. He used to cane me. He used to tell me all the things, but by good luck, I did my KCSE 
I never passed mathematics. I did not pass mathematics. I, you know, mathematics is uh, compulsory, but physics is not compulsory. So I had to be to eliminate physics from my optional subject. I had to eliminate physics because we had uh, we were choosing the subject. So the only thing I said that uh, is that uh, I will not do physics and that's how I never do physics. So I failed math but I passed the rest of the subjects. So sometimes life is journey. Life is journey and once you have made it in life that God cannot leave you and no matter how you are suffering those one who are watching this video and maybe they have lost hope in life I have got an advice to you as fellow the boy that uh, God has not forgotten you. Your day is coming. Everybody has, has his day. Yeah, so there is a Atakama itachukua muda. There is a song sings in Swahili that uh, Mungu atatenda. Atakama itachukua muda. Najua Mungu atatenda. Even if it will take long, God is going to do an action. God is going to do something. How long did I suffer? How long did I suffer? Ten years suffering. Ten years suffering. Not even ten years. Uh, around uh, eight, 18 years suffering, imagine. But God came to rescue me. To come in Korea. And that's how my suffering started uh, ending. And I thank God. We are going to the right. We have already reached to Gengari, so you can check on the signboard is here. Signboard to Gengariso Primary School is there. Your box 91404. 4400 is Banya. Moto, focus ahead for a better future. Yeah, focus ahead for the better future. Uh, in fact, it is very good I have met this signboard. Focus best for a better future. So if you are watching this video and you are there, just focus better for a better future. I, don't, I haven't said that right now I'm rich, or right now I have got money, or my better is my life is good. But my life, at least, I'm proud of. I'm pl I'm proud for for the life that I'm staying right now. How I am, I'm proud, and I thank God for that. Okay. So that is it. We have already reached. That's a lesson. We have already reached uh, Kengariso. Oh, we have already reached Kengariso. So Mama Joy's house is here. Mama Joy's home is just here. And now I'm ready to Mama Maria. So we have got uh, Victor here. Victor, good morning. morning. You are good? Yeah. So uh, you have already started? Eh? Yeah. The work is going on. The work is going on. But I see you are sweating because of the road. You know, Mama, 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 Mama Maria, uh, she messed up with this place. You know, she uh, she said that uh, the house, the neighbors house were destroying it. But you see now the construction. Now the people who are constructing right now, we are facing problems in terms of passing. But you know things will just be okay. You know once once the sunlight a bit, it will just be okay. Yeah. So guys, uh, this is Victor. He's uh the one who's helping uh, the handman of today's work. I like him a lot because uh, he's a guy who sells himself, he works very well, humble and he likes helping sometimes from uh, Maria. So we are just here. Mama Maria, 
Salama. Hey, salama. Kwa sana vipi? Wewe hapa. Naona unaendelea? Yes. Angana bwana, angana bwana hiki tu uchape leo kisha ba. Tukula hata kuku hapa. Maraba. So this guy has reached. Now I'm supposed to pay him. Hey, mechafuka. Hmm? Mechafuka sana. Kama kupe maji upanguze. Kuna kita chamba, chukua hiyo kitamba. Yangu hiyo. Kuna maji hapo kwa nini? Kwa tank. So guys, the work has already started here. First of all, I can see Mama Reshi is preparing for us. Let me give this boy. Marahaba. Eh? Yeah, he has said poor. Marahaba, Karo, Maro, Etikaro. Maria is there. Salam. So you are preparing the bananas. This is the this breakfast for lunch or breakfast for today. Ah, yeah. We quite. You know also how to prepare. It? Guess this how they do it here. She he just use the hands. He just use his hands to prepare it, and uh, Mama Resh is using the knife. knife to make sure that it is uh, prepared. This one was a uh, okay. It had matured very well, huh? Si sana. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey. Ah, for the one you mekoma sana waku. Okay. So uh, the boy is cleaning. Joseph. Who is Joseph, sir? Joseph is cleaning the kitchen. How are you? You are good. Eh? You want to uh, bre prepare breakfast? Yeah. You want to cook tea today, uh, today and uh, bananas? Mm. Okay. This is the method of drying the firewoods in Africa. You know, once you do this way, the smoke that comes from the fire, it comes down and uh, uh, make sure that uh, the firewoods that, uh, dry very well. You see? Now when they, they cook, the smoke comes from uh, this place and uh, it just uh, goes very well to the the firewood and the firewood be just okay. How long can it take for it to be to be ready to be used when the smoke is, uh, is inside the house? Two weeks, huh? Oh, two weeks. Mama Rashi is saying that two weeks you find that uh, uh, it is ready. Yeah, so the guy is leaving. The guy who has helped me to bring the cement is leaving and is going. So we have got, uh, they had already uh, started. Oh, oh you, you took one bag from Mama Joyce, huh? So this one was four. Four, four bags, four wheelbarrows. Yeah, yeah. Apo ni nitu. Urumara tu. Mama Maria, I don't know why you didn't mold. Mbono kubama mbaka ju? Oh, that's, oh, because of ventilation? Okay, I get you now. So because of ventilation, uh, she has not uh, mold up to cover those places. So she has used uh, that kind of this, this method of uh, just leaving the places so that it can help uh, in terms of uh, the vents now, in terms of the smoke, the smoke to come out. So the guy is uh, working very well here. He's plastering. We have started just today. And we, thought we, 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 are, we, are, we have hopes that uh, maybe uh, we get also, you see this water now? The water is just coming now this way. So when we are, yeah, for example, if we get something like a, if we get something like a, a pavement here, it will be like, be, uh, it will be just to be okay. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Vipi. Fit sana. Salama sana labda wewe. Yeah. Uh, umesha toa? <laughs> Hiyo yeah, yangu, yangu nili nini, nili chukua jana eh, Lakini ita, nitaangalia kama, wacha ni, kuna mwenye nafaa nitumia, niwana kama aneza nitumia Alikuwa meniambia kuna effect na nini, na fog Sasa, o kama imeisha, ataenda tau na tumepesa Hiyo ya nani, hiyo ingine labdina nitakuja kuchukua huko Wacha ni contact na ujama Hai, sante okay so this is the guy uh, from the bank, he's calling me. We have got some money that uh, is ready so for pickup. I'm supposed to go. 
So Maria, she's washing the utensils. I, you know, I used to wash the utensils, Maria. I used to wash the utensils like you. I used to stay with one of my aunts. She was very harsh. And she taught us to do this work. We used to go to the river. And you know, it was a, a marathon. So you are three. We, we used to be three. So it was a marathon. For the, the first one who will be the first one to finish, he get to Mandazi. So we used to be very sharp in terms of the work. So guys, this is the rinsing. Clean water. And this one is the washing uh, water. Maria, have you ever seen a, um, a washing tub? The place whereby they used to wash utensils. I don't know. Where, where have you seen it? Okay, we have got uh, at Mama Joseph and Mama Baba Godfrey. Zach has constructed those things for washing utensils. So uh, my, my, my hopes is that uh, maybe somebody will watch you maybe washing this way uh, on down and we have got mud. Maybe they will prefer we build, uh, we construct something like that. So that's something that uh, Zach has constructed at uh, Mama Joseph and Baba Godfrey. So we can ask him uh, how much did it costed so that they can construct here at this place. In fact, if it is constructed, it's just this place where they wash utensils here. You see right now, she's just stepping down on the mud because of the... Um, this place, if it could be somehow live with uh, slabbing, like here, she just wash it that way and the way you find that is okay. Okay. So, I will have to go back to Nyabohansi uh, to go and charge my camera a bit because uh, I can see it is, uh, it is uh, the, mo the power. It has finished the charge. So I go and uh, charge it. I want just to uh, to come and uh, make sure that uh, the cement have reached and also the work has already started so that uh, we can be able to uh, see on what we can do. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, actually, I'm ending this video. And uh, Mama Maria, do you know that uh, I was rained on from <laughs> Kangariso up to home? In <laughs> fact, <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, <laughs> Ili, yeah, si, yeah. Ili kabisa. Kuna yangu, one of my phone is uh, right now is not working it is just off but this one you know I, I came to realize that in my bag mm. the water was full in my bag and the phones were there mm. so the phones were just floating on water wow. inside the bag sasa simu zilikuwa tu kwa maji ndani kwa kwa bag lakini ile 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 ndimekufa nataka nipeleke phone sijui kama itakuwa Ju mezima kabisa lakini hii iko sawa hii ndio natumia sasa sasa hii. Camera pia I was lucky that the camera you know afadhali simu ziharibika lakini si camera. Eh camera F70. Yeah thank you. But God is going to fix that. Uh, everything was a reason kwa sababu gatundu. Yeah. Everything happened with a reason. Gatundu maji alijoy alijaa mpaka kwa daraja juu. Sasa ningechelewa ningepata kumejaa kabisa. Na ungejua kupita. Asingepita hiyo labda ningekufa jana ningaanguka kwa kabisa. Watu Mungu Mungu alia. Rudi lakini unyurare kwetu. Eh sasa ndio nyumbani nilikuwa sijafunga sijafunga kwa hata sijaingiza hata kuku. Eh kweli. Ndio sasa ilibidi tu niende. Yeah. Okay so thank you guys I want to end this video uh, and just to remind you that if you have not checked it out and subscribe check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel at uh, Fellow the Boat. Thank you very much and God bless you. Bye.